Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again in the Cursed Estate. And one thing we have to do right out of the bat, off the bat even, uh, right out the gate, we have the Mender to introduce. This is Zaya, as I think it's pronounced, X-I-A. Um, and this is going to be possibly the most powerful healer in the game. She is really, really good. She has... A really strong single target heal, a really good AoE heal, a heal to cure blight bleed and clear debuff, and then a clear horror and stress relief along with a stress um, buff as well, stress relieving buff. It's She's really strong. <laughs> she also has a really powerful stun and blight as well. I mean, she just has all sorts of crazy stuff. Uh, so we're going to be using Zaya here, and this is a backstory written by Friendly Shep. Once a nurse at a local hospital, she found uh, she found how corrupt the practices of the higher-ups were. And casting down her scrubs, she burnt the hospital in a rage and strode out to enact her medical practice in ways that she wanted to. In the field, she joined a navy crew, offered her services and agreed to train a young boy named Sven, who wished to learn how to heal. Unfortunately, the ship was wrecked and she was lost to the sea. Later, she found herself on the shore of the curve with a large estate looming above. Oof, that's really nice. I like that one. And I love the fact that Sven, our Urshanborn, has been tied into the story there. So we're going to see some interaction, hopefully, between those two. And we're actually going to be taking Zaya out with us. Um, we, I've prepared a team here. Uh, we've got um, Red, who hasn't been out in a really long time. I think it's about time Red heads on out. Uh, she's going to be up in the front and spreading her blight and bleed and we're going to be going out into this mission in the wield here we also have david um who i know i've been kind of putting off playing as david because he is a fun class but he has some issues with some of his leveling uh, in terms of the the volume his um oil spill and flamer attack are a little loud but we're going to try and make the most out of him anyways and try and use him then we have zai um coming with us our mender as our nice healer um, and then we also have our um, Antiquarian Octavia coming along just to try and find a few extra bits and bobs along the way. And then after that, I'm going to try and go to the farmstead once more and do another endless mission and see how that goes. That was really fun the first time we did that. And I've since brought on a few more of the uh, Crystal Guardian people. Uh, if we take a look here, I've brought on a um, Martyr and a... Uh, shield breaker so hopefully those two can do good and then we've got a vessel currently um just getting rid of her uh, affliction over in the um over in the abbey praying so hopefully that'll do well for her and we'll come back with the ability to go ahead i've trinketed everyone up so here we've got the uh the blight and the bleed then david has just straight up extra damage damage versus beasts and um extra damage i believe in the wield it's mostly beasts or eldritch um Actually, do you know what? I think Eldritch is more common, isn't it? If I remember correctly, I think it's Eldritch which is more common. So let's switch that out for our Eldritch one, wherever that is. There you go. I'm fairly sure it's Eldritch within the wield. It's more beasts in the Warrens. Uh, we, of course, do have the chance for the Collector as well, but that should be okay. Octavia here just has tons of props to try and keep her alive. And then the Mender here has both uh, of the... Um, two extra healing trinkets so he her healing should be able to carry us through very easily here and we can actually change up her clothes a little bit i'm gonna go with do you know what i really like the original the original one's really nice um yeah and we're gonna stick with this and like i said this is only a short mission so it shouldn't take us too long and then we'll be back out again to go and uh try out the farmstead once more so let's get right into it get some provisions going here um, I just, at this point, I just like taking pretty much all the food. We don't need that much. I'll take 18. Uh, take three of everything else. It's only a short adventure, so we really shouldn't run into too much turmoil. Um, we'll take 14 shovels. And I think that'll do us nicely. We, of course, could take some blood along with us. I have, again, tweaked the numbers slightly for the enemies giving the curse. I've lowered the numbers just a tiny bit, like a few percent. Just because we've been getting it a little too often. Um, but we should still be seeing it, but not quite as regularly. Anyways, let's uh, embark and see what we can get done within this mission here. So only a level two, so it should be relatively easy for all of these guys. But it's mainly for Red, so, so that she can hopefully level herself up a little bit. Bit. We should actually just quickly go and check if we need to 
upgrade anyone's gear here. Um, yes, we do. So, red, you can take... Do you know what? We're mainly going to be using that. We'll... We'll do these two as well. But we're mainly going to be using that. David... Okay, you need to upgrade. Again, we're only going to be using two skills mainly here, so I'll just go with the two skills. Um, Octavia, god damn, we're, we're low on everyone at the minute. Uh, we'll go with a heal, and actually we can go with pretty much everything here, apart from the last one. There you go. A little bit of extra money than uh, that I wasn't expecting to spend, but we should hopefully make it all back. Um, just because we're bringing out Octavia here, she should be able to rake in a few extra pennies for us. Let's just make sure we're on the right mission here. Uh, and we're not really getting the best trink out of this, but we're more doing this because it's a level 2 mission than anything. Um, oh, and I need to rebuy my provisions. I'm a bit dumb. Let's go with 18, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 and... 14. Okay, good. Let's embark. And we do indeed have another dire injury here. This one by TEA. And this is for Sven, our Oceanborn, after being nursed back to health and returning from the Abbey. From what little I remember, our expedition was going well, but took a turn for the worst at the end. When that cannonball struck us, I thought we were dead, but I remember what Zai said and had taught me, and kept and it kept us alive by myself. A bit further down the page, written a smaller script. There is something inside me. I'm scared it might be some kind of demon. I changed into a monster while I was fighting. It was almost out of my control. I don't know uh, if I should tell anybody. And then he just said, crap time, crap time. I agree. <laughs> so that's referring to obviously the fact that um, Sven can transform into that crab monster. It seems to be his beast form that he can't quite control. But Zai's taught him well. And we'll, we'll see how that goes. So, right, we need to explore 90% of rooms here, so we'll just keep moving across. This should be a relatively easy mission, even if the Collector comes up. Of course, we could. We very well could try this out once more. Let's let's come back to that. I, I might well try that. At a level 2 mission, I'm a little more... I'm a little more okay with going for that. Uh, we, we, of course, did try that out previously, but it didn't go well for us. Uh, we got blighted there. Um, I'm not going to get rid of that. I'm going to save all of them all of them for um, when we actually try and fight that grave thing there. But I really want to see if we can succeed on that because you can get some really cool trinkets and things out of it. So let's just hope for the best there. Uh, we got a hunger check already. That's a very, very early hunger check there. Um, not going to do that. Actually, I probably should, considering we've got Octavia with us. Even though I do want my, um... I do want my... Uh, blight removals. Okay. That was hugely, hugely advantageous. Probably the collector here. No, just some doggies. Rabbit rush. Hopefully we don't get rabies. Um, yeah, we're going to be going with this. Lots of bleed and a repose there as well. The only thing I am worried about in terms of um, in terms of fighting that grave is that we do have Octavia with us, and she isn't really the best at um, staying alive. Uh, that's why I put all that prot on her. We'll, we'll see if that ends up helping out. Okay, you can go down. Nice. We should see a good amount of uh, healing up here going on. And we'll do that there. Get rid of a bit of that stress. I probably should have done it on you, the guy that's got tons of stress on you, but I missed out on that. There you go, the flamer. Okay, nice bit of extra stuff there. Make sure to loot as Octavia, gotta remember that. And yeah, we'll, we'll see if we want to do that. It's it's questionable, but we've got to remember that, as, as we saw last time, if we feel like we need to, we can dip out at any point. If things are not going our way, we can we can just leave. And I, I really do want to try and try and make that happen, uh, get that quest done, or that mini-boss, at least at one level or another. So we'll give it a go. Unfortunately, there's no camping here, so there's no way that we're going to be getting uh, extra... Uh, buffs before we go into it. And we do have some bloodsuckers here. We did get the surprise as well. Luckily, um, a lot of our characters aren't, aren't specific to their uh, positioning. The only one that, that is, is um, our Mender. I don't like Octavia being up front there. That does scare me a little bit. Um, yeah, let's do that. 
oil spill on these guys. Very nice. Gather the blood. Hopefully we don't get another curse here. Hopefully. The thirst coming in. Okay, red taking that stress, but nothing else. Good, good. And yeah, I'll do this. I'm just going to keep... I'm just going to rearrange everyone at the moment. Like, we're not doing terribly badly, so I'd rather just rearrange people. And that flame there does insane damage, so... I do, again, apologize about the, the volume levels of that. There's not much I can do about that right now. Okay, we're taking a bit of blight. Or, or maybe not. Okay, good, good. Let's finish you off. The less enemies right now, the better. Um, and we're just going to use the vapors here. And hopefully get an AoE heal going on with Zai... Zaya. I don't know if it's Zaya or Zaya. There you go. Everyone's healed up now. Flame on. Gets rid of all the bodies. That's a really good thing about this. There you go. Okay. I think this is a pretty good group. I think, I think this could work. I think this could work quite well. Be careful about those blood suckers in the future. See if we get any more of those. Okay, we do have some difficult enemies here. Certainly. I'm going to try and take you out first. Moves you to the back. That might be quite good for us. Embrace the dark. We're definitely taking on some stress here. So let's do some stress removal. Shall we? Um, oil up. Everyone got hit by that. That was great. Okay, thank God that thing's dead already. And again, invigorating vapors to just make sure everyone can dodge. Octavia helping out the group as much as she can. Breath of darkness. Even more stress coming out here. Let's get some torches going. You can take some bleed and be moved back. Vapors go in. Right, David, you get de-stressed. You're in a better place now. This is going to hurt. Oh, or not. Very nice to see. The flame there. It just... That combo just does such good damage. Unfortunately, it does have that low, low chance to stun him. Uh, basically, with every use, it has a 25% chance to stun him. And it increases... His stun resist gets lower and lower with every subsequent use. So, it does have that, that small chance. The good thing is, though, we can do um, we can do some pretty interesting stuff here. Let's let's do this. Um, we can do this, and it clears that that stun resist debuff right off him, which is super useful. He is still stunned here. We might get another tree smackdown coming on before we manage to kill this guy. Actually, his bleed is so insanely high right now. We might be okay. Um, some stress relief for you, Red. Nice. And yeah, just go for the punch. Wow, that's a that's a big punch. Uh, right, we got some money coming in here. Five hundred. Um, let's get rid of the holy water for now and make sure to loot his Octavia. Nice. We got some crests. I'm not, I'm not really too bothered about crests and things for now. Okay, this should be our last room or the, the one after. I'm not 100% sure. But I think this one will be the last one. More bloodsuckers incoming, which is very annoying. I really don't want, want to get more people cursed, to be honest. Maddening wine. It's a bit of stress. It's fine. A bit more stress. Okay, David being marked is not a bad thing at all here. That's fine. Oh, my God. Right. Move you guys about. I am, I am very worried we're going to get another person on here. He passed his turn, unfortunately. That's really not good. That is something that's going to happen time to time here. The third's coming in again. Um, hopefully, David should have pretty good resistances to all of this. Just keep his stress levels low. Uh, Octavia, nice dodge. We really need to get some, some hits in with David here. Go with you. And keep going with that. There you go. Right. Everyone's hit. That's great. The shuffle's also really, really good. It, it it makes it makes for quite oh, that's that's bad. It makes for quite big problems on a lot of people here. Um it is bad to get these two coming in though. As long as we keep our invigorating vapors up and keep that dodge high, we should be okay. Again, we can clear off that horror and give the stress a minus fifty two stress. It's just so good. Right. Nice, that's two of them dead. Good, good. And you should be just about dead in your next round. Awesome. Okay, that was a little scary. Ooh, got some rubies here. I'll just take those over this for now. I think that's the best way of doing that. 
wouldn't you say? Uh, we can't clear off our horror on anyone else at the moment, which is a shame. It's going to be a little more stress than I'm wanting coming in, but it shouldn't matter all too much. Uh, we definitely need to do, do some healing in this next battle if we have one. Okay, we don't have a battle coming up at all. Which isn't, isn't great, really. Um, wait a minute, make sure Octavia's looting this. Another tapestry. Okay, this is for gold finding. This is a very good mission. Um, and I'm pretty sure if you if you forcefully leave combat or anything, you, you get to keep all your stuff anyways. Let's continue adventuring. Uh, I'm a little upset that everyone's so high in... Um, well, I say, say so high. It's high in stress and a few people are low on HP. It's going to mean that the first few turns of this are going to be a little harder. But I'm going to go for it again. I think at this lower level, level 2 rather than a level 4, it should be much easier. And I think this team is good enough to make it work, especially with this combo between Zaya and David. Uh, I think these two have this really good synergy of clearing off that stun debuff and allowing him to use his flamer move more often, which just deals absolutely huge damage. Because we haven't got any um, scouting through this way, I'm going to go this way. Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, mm. <laughs> do you know what? I'm going to do this. And you can take that, clear that debuff. Okay, unfortunately you resisted that. That's not great. Collector's call. Things get bad now. We just got to be ready. Especially when it's two of the Dismas heads as well. This this could get bad. This could get bad. We got to we got to be prepared. Life steal coming in. Luckily, got that prot there. Um, everyone needs a heal right now, so let's go for that. We're gonna oil spill again. It did debuff everyone. That's great. Keep doing this. Um, the vapors there. One of them died as well. That's great. Dismas is gonna get a real chunky hit on you. Great. Wrong person to hit. Stop hitting her. <laughs> oh my god. Worst person to hit. Heal her back up for 10. She is taking a lot of bleed damage right now. Um, I'm actually just going to heal myself up. I think it's more worthwhile right now. Lifesteal, leave her alone. Headbutt on David coming in. Stress levels are getting a little out of hand. There's a huge crit on you. Right. Um, let's keep going with the heals on everyone. Then David needs specifically the heals. I'm going to take you out. I know he's going to collect his call again pretty much immediately. But I felt like that was a little better. I'm going to blight you just because we can for now. And flame on you as well. Okay, you're weak, you're weak enough for this to be okay. You're weak enough for this to be okay. Why, why is it always double Dismas heads? I swear to God. Right, go with the vapors here. We definitely need some stress relief here. The stress is pretty bad. And the thing is, there's going to be a lot of stress incoming in that next fight. But at the same time, we've got to make sure everyone comes out of this fight topped up on healing. But that stress is getting mighty high. Okay, Collector's dead. That was tough. Hey, we got another one of these. We only got this, but at least we got ahead. Um, we'll take that over, over this. I don't know if we might already have that one. We might already have one of those ones, which is a shame, but it's just kind of what we got to do for now. Right, keep making our way back. We might end up getting another fight here, but I'm okay with it. Oh, wait. Do this as Octavia. Nice. Okay, this is this is definitely definitely a bad move. <laughs> I can already I can already tell it's a bad move, uh, considering our current stress situation. But I I think we can make it work. Let's give this a go. Like I said, we can always ditch if need be. 
Tragic memories. In comes Papa and Mama. Get you bleeding first. And... Let's go for a party heal. That's a huge heal on red there as well. And the vapors are very necessary here. Mournful drift. Okay, the drift shouldn't matter to us too much. Impressive. The one thing that's going to be a problem is the blight, but luckily we can clear that off. Ow. There's some horror. He healed himself up, but that's fine because he's at full health. Oil spill here. Unfortunately, resist on one of them, but the other didn't resist. So that's good. Right, we really need to clear that horror off for you. Nice dodge. Okay, come on. Let us, let us clear that horror off. Come on, Zaya. Come on, Zaya. Let me use you. Why? I guess it wins it Zaya's turn. God damn it. Right, she definitely needs that. She needs the stress relief, but she also needs to get rid of that horror. Vapors are going to be super useful right here. Cerbero. Not sure what that did for him. Ooh, that was close. I didn't think about how just insanely strong... Um, it's not going to do all too much against this guy. Um, do this again. Oh, you did resist that that time. Know your place. Okay, good. Oh, Monful Drift again. Yeah, I didn't think about how good Bleed would be against this guy, considering just how many turns he has. The stress is coming in. This is only the first round as well, like, this is bad. Um, I think with the amount of stress we've got incoming here, I'm going to de-stress myself. Just keep the vapors going, keep that dodge up. We can hold 27 here. He's going to hit his wife again, isn't he? Yep. Luckily, that is good for us, because we can keep her sort of in her place. She's taking extra flamer damage, there you go, she's dead. That's one of them gone. Nice dodge. Keep that bleed going. Unfortunately, it's not going to get blighted, but that's fine for us right now, at least. Definitely de-stress on David. Luckily, we're not needing to heal all too much at the minute. It's mainly horror that's, that's getting us. I'm sure later that'll change, but for now, at least, we're in a good place. Sober up. I'm not sure what sober up does for him. There you go. Nice. That's two of them gone. Into the next two. Okay, from what I remember from this one, you uh, yeah, life links to wench. You only have to kill the wench. Unfortunately, he does guard the wench, though, so we can't always do that. Okay. Nice dodge. Okay, he, he only has one turn. The wench is going to be blighting. That's not great. I'm going to be curing that anyway, so that's fine by me. We're actually doing good enough damage to him right now that we should be okay here. Um, let's just go for that. Yeah, that got a kill straight away. That punch is really strong. Eternal anguish. Some more, some more horror coming in here. Um, yep, clear that off you. Looks like people are going to come out of this if we survive with not terrible stress levels, so that's good. Oh, okay. That's new. That is new. The blood we'll definitely do that. That hit everyone. Great. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. Okay, this is great. Lower your stress a bit, Reg. You're feeling it a bit harsh, aren't you? Nice. Yeah, another great dodge. Maiden's Kiss. Extra speed. A lot of extra speed. Another great dodge. This is just fantastic for us right now. The the Vapors keeping us up at such high dodge is really helping out. You should be pretty much dead. This should kill both of you. Great. Unfortunately, the Flamer doesn't reach that far back. So we couldn't kill the Wench. She's probably going to do the same attack again and bring in a few more people. Um, I'm just going to do this for now. Make sure everyone's at full health on near 2. 
Um, yeah, I had a feeling she was going to do that again. We, we have a little bit of a problem here uh, where we're having a real hard time dealing with her. But luckily, we can get enough bleed on her for this to be mostly okay. Keep those vapors going. How much is this going to do to you? 12 to 25. Let's try it. Damn, that wasn't really enough. We definitely need to get that resist off there. Okay, she's... So close to dead, but she just protected herself. No rabies, thank god. Let's start, nice dodge. Um, She's got this debuff on her. I think we're better off just healing her normally, getting her back up to full. And I've just realized how insanely high Octavia's stress is. Should have paid more attention to that, right? Okay, got the bleed on you. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll do... Pay a bit more attention to that coming up. Good. We definitely need to clear that off. Like, next turn. Otherwise, things are going to get kind of out of hand. There you go. I know that everyone else needs stress healing, but we need to get rid of that. Okay, great. The dog should die here, right? Maybe not. Okay, and then we've got the last one here. I don't know how to deal with this one at all. Definitely need to get some stress relief off this. Definitely think that bleed is going to be the way to go. Just keep stacking bleed in it. Yeah, we need that stress relief coming in. Oil spill. It did dodge it, unfortunately. Okay, it's marked the thing. Interesting. 18 for 3. Insane. Okay, stress relief is a big thing for us right now. We need it. Chilling carcass. Thank God we got all this dodge. I'm going to try this again. Damn it. The fact that that's not hitting is bad. We're going to just try punching it next turn. Nice crit. Nice bleed. Just keeps on applying. I'm hoping we can get out of this without a stress check. Okay, this thing's so dead. That was bad, but the bleed should kill it. Okay, the, you stunned the thing. So the... It's actually... We're actually getting help from the... The witch at the minute. The, the banshee. There you go. We got it. Is that it? The it is. Point. Tranquil bliss. Ooh, nice stress heal at the end there. Father has returned home in a drunken state once more, and I stay in my bedroom while mother tries her best to calm him down. I can hear him yell, hear him blame our, our blights on us, and hear him strike mother with misdirected anger. As he grows louder, so too do the voices. I must not listen to them, for my husband will return from his conscript soon, and I'll be here to welcome him. I am blessed to have someone so kind to love me, to care for me, despite my afflictions. Upon his return, I will show him how much I have missed him. Interesting. And we get ourselves something very interesting. We get, let's um, throw away this, 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 this. Just take everything. This thing here. Minus 50 debuff resist, which isn't great, but plus 25 prop. That's really good. And I can't believe we managed to get through that. That was pretty awesome. We'll end the quest here. That was really fun. I really enjoyed that. Every path and root reduces the isolation. But you can see how difficult that's going to be in the late levels. This is only a level 2 mission. That was a good amount of money made as well there. Hey, Red's fine in level 3 as well. She did unfortunately take on migraines. Um, and we got Mankind here and Spasm of the Entrails. Okay, that's not too bad. We'll probably want to get rid of that disease off red there. Uh, but otherwise, that was good. Shards plus 25. Oh, yes, boy. That's amazing. <laughs> that's so good. Uh, right. Let's just go here and... First of all, let's take all of our trinkets off. But yeah, red, you want to get some disease, uh, disease removed. Uh, check on our trinkets real quick, see if there's anything super valuable here. Um, minus 20 stress in ruins, minus 10% damage received in ruins, plus 10 product ruins. That's really good. Um, we've got this here for Seer as well. Nothing super necessary there. Um, and we need to check if we've got any more shard boys. So we've not got anyone here that we want to take on. Um, let's have a look. We have a harlot. We have a mender. Yes, that's so good. Okay, we have a Jester as well. We're, we're going to want both of those. 
at the end. So th this is this is really really good for us. So let's uh, let's pre prepare a team, shall we? Uh, first of all, let's embark and make sure everyone's out of here. We've got a very 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 strong team going on right now. So we're gonna go and set up the team. So I, I don't even think we're gonna use the jester right now. Um, like he's good, but we could we could probably do better with the mender. So this does minus twelve, and then let me reorganize these guys. Then this does minus ten. Okay, so it's not as much stress relief, but it clears horror as well. So let's do this. I think we bring the mender with us in the back. Oh, wait. Sorry. Sorry, Mender. Bring the Mender in the back. Then we bring this guy in the front. Uh, he is observed, unfortunately. That's kind of strange that he can come in with observed. Um, we want Pierce. We want Impale. We want Exposed. And we want Puncture. I think they're the ones that we need. You go up front like that. Then... Hmm. We could bring this guy here, who's going to deal like... Going to be really, really good at just keeping everyone topped up and stress relieving. But I don't think we need to. We should probably bring... Our Vestal here again, because that's going to be insane healing. Then it means you can focus on other things. Um, yes, yeah, so we bring the Vestal as well. Then we could bring our um, Abomination, but let's have a look what other damage dealers we have and see if there's anyone else that will fit a little better into this roster. We got another. Do we bring. Is it too cheeky to bring Double Shield Breaker? Is it a bit too cheeky to bring double shield breaker? Or, or I suppose we could bring this guy. He does good damage. I kind of want to do double shield breaker, you know. That seems absurdly powerful. Yeah, let's let's dismiss you and bring in the shield breaker. Can we do double shield? If we can, that's absurdly broken. This is... This is insane. Right. God damn, this is going to be so powerful. <laughs> this is going to be so broken. Uh, make sure to change one of you around to something else. There you go. So you look a little different. Wow, this is this is probably going to be... Oh, extra damage received, unfortunately. Um, it's going to be kind of crazy. You have farsighted as well, which is a problem. We can make sure to buff your accuracy up there. Right. <laughs> Let's prepare these people because this is going to be real crazy. So, Vestal, we know what you're having. You're taking that and that for the crazy healing. You can take... Um, Where is it? It's one of the heads. 25 stress healing skills Um, and... Do we do we give her this? I'm trying to think of what else we could give her that would be really strong. Um, what else would be really powerful on her? I'm guessing just anything else that helps with stress relieving. She's not going to be killing anything, so that doesn't matter. Maybe I just go with a minus fifty stress on her. So she doesn't have to stress heal herself anywhere near as much. I think that I think that's that plays right. Then okay, Vestal's already sorted. Right, so you need the extra accuracy, so you're gonna take the um the focus ring that offsets your accuracy, and then we'll play into that massive crit. So we'll try and add some more crit onto here. Uh let's have a little look see. It's four percent there. We could go with the uh the boot. Yeah, let's go with the boot. That gives you crazy crit. And then on you, we're going to go with the Miller Trinket. Because I think we need at least one person with that on. So we take the Miller Trinket here, which gives us lots of extra speed. Extra damage versus the Miller. Um, Blight Resist and the Miller's Reaping Attack does no damage to us. And that's really important. And then on top of that, I think we go with this. 
10 prot, less stress, and on kill has a chance to stress heal. Like, that sounds pretty good. Uh, I don't know how good this will end up being. It might not work as well as I'm thinking. But this looks like a pretty strong group, in my opinion. Pretty strong group. Just trying to look if anyone else has anything really bad. No, it looks okay. So let's uh, let's get this group together. This might be a slightly longer episode, depending on how long this goes. I may do some editing with this and cut certain parts parts out if it lasts a really long time. But let's grab our provisions. Uh, we're just going to go full food, because why not? Um, I don't really know if you need these sort of things, but let's bring full of them. Full of them. Like six of them. Like six of them. Six of them. I, I really don't know what I'm doing with these. Uh, we don't need to bring any shard dust or anything like that. We don't need to bring the blood files, I don't think. I think that's good. Let's embark. And we do have another Die Ranger here. This one's written by me. Miller. Oh. Price a victim. The seasons took his livelihood. I took his land. And now, uncountable years later, the comet has taken his humanity. My only regret is that I did not live to see that shoddy mill smashed to pieces by the miraculous bounty I reaped from beyond the void. Ooh, I wasn't expecting extra dialogue there. But yeah, we do have another di di ranger here. This one's written by me, and this is for Clint the Bounty Hunter. I can't believe I came to this place in pursuit of riches. What a fool I was back then. It's been well over a year, and what started as some simple extra money on the side has become so much more. As we fight off the evil of this cursed land, a feeling deep inside grows ever greater. A pounding feeling in my very soul. At first, I thought it to be my heart, but day by day it grows stronger and more pronounced. This feeling, it's behind it, it's behind it all. All the evil, all the horror of this land. They stem from this pounding, the rhythmic beating of something truly corrupt. I must speak to the others, I know they feel it too. We must prepare for something truly terrible. That is just beyond the horizon. Okay, let's hop on in and see how this goes. I really don't know how it's going to work with that, with the double shield breaker, but I feel like double shield breaker is pretty good. And these two are going to be having so much stress relief and so much healing that it's going to be fantastic. Let's breach the barrier and head on in. Onwards we go. Let's give this a give this a good go. Right, so. Start off with that. Of course we miss. The double impale on everyone. Um, just keep you topped up. 15 on a heal. Wow. Ow. Just get rid of that debuff. <laughs> no debuff for me. Okay, people going for the hill. Hit. I'm, I'm probably just going to keep impaling over and over and over again. Okay, you're taking on everything, apparently. Everyone hates you. So, you, you've you taken 30 stress. Oh my god. You've got the massive stress reduction, though, so that's fine. Um, even though we don't need to heal with you, Mender's going to heal you up a little bit. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's such a powerful... <laughs> oh my god, the double impale's really strong. Um, we don't really need to do anything here, so I'm just going to top you up a little bit. We need to start taking care of that stress. Seeds of Madness there. Nice. And just move there, I guess. I mean, what's the point in this? We've got no enemies left. Is this just like a break? 13 stress healing. That's so good. Here's the next sort of set of enemies. Mixing us around shouldn't be all too bad either, because everyone, these these two front guys have really good movement. Ah, damn. That's a shame. Okay, that's a bigger shame. What the hell? At least get stunned for me, lad. So the seeds. Oh, thank you. Why? Okay. Stop. <laughs> I'm not having that much extra stress coming in. No, thank you. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't need me no medical herbs. Um. 
Okay, I finally hit you. Okay, finally you got that. Right. Good, good. Minus 40 stress. You've got that stress re resist. Damn. We need you to go first rather than you. So we can um, start with the impale again, but it's not working out right now. Yeah, like, stop. <laughs> Just... I don't want to do any of this. I want to. I want to use impale. God damn! We'll just finish this guy off because because these two have got mixed up now. How are we? How are we so inaccurate? What dodge? Twenty eight dodge. God damn! Didn't even realize. Nice heal. What's wrong with you this time? This happens every turn. It's the severe mood swings thing, isn't it? Yeah, that, it's really annoying. Um, stress five, eleven. Let's go with you. All that's gone. And everyone's got this nice stress relieving buff. They're taking a little less. These guys only have 36 health each as well. That's that's actually pretty low. Nice. Um I kinda wanna pass turn as this guy. No, do you know what? Let's just do that. No, that's that's dumb. I just did the wrong thing. Damn it! I did the I did the wrong thing. Play some stress off myself. I didn't mean to move him forward. It's moving back. Damn it! Doesn't matter how long it takes. Wow, that's a big hit. That's a very big hit. We need to get that impale going again. I need to position these guys. Your skipping turn. <laughs> it sounds really dumb, but we've got to get the impale going again, and it seems like this is the only way. It's too strong. The double impale is too strong. Um, Trust relieve on you. I know you're low on health, but okay. I was going to say, as long as everyone doesn't target you, you should be fine. And of course, you immediately get targeted. Nice. Okay, stop targeting him. He's low health. Leave him be. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Please leave him be. Okay, nice. Right, we're going to have to double heal this guy. There we go. He's feeling much better now. Ow. People still keep attacking him, though. Purple apparently very much angers the shard boys. I'm just going to fully heal this guy. He needs it. Nice dodge yet again. Just look at that. It's beautiful. There we go. <laughs> the impale is too strong. Far too strong. I do really like this uh, Colors of Madness thing. This endless mode. It's so fun. Some, someone on my uh, Discord recently got up to like... Was it a thousand kills? It was crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, you're taking a bit of damage there. It's okay. Nice dodge. We're going to just clear that off of ourselves. Make sure we don't take any more damage than we have to. And purple once again takes the hit. I don't know why, but they really like hitting purple. Nice heal, Vestal. A little bit of stress coming in there. Okay. Considering you have 50% stress relief on yourself from the bugle, I'm surprised you're taking as much stress as you are. Maybe people are just targeting you more than I'm noticing. Their formation is nice. Maintain the offensive. Very nice. Everything's dead again. Right. Stress relief on us. We'll get a heal here. 15. That's insane. It's like half HP. To the next area. What do we get here? Okay, stress relief, that's fine. Okay, the, the trample coming in could be a bit of a pain, turns, but it gets us back in order. I think that's really important. Right, everyone's back, basically back up to full health here. Okay, to the next area. 
Heal 65% max HP party. Okay. Everyone's healed up. I'm gonna be taking four damage, it's okay. The light bends, we're on into the normal area now. Blazing. I'm guessing each one of these, like, blazing or whatever, takes us to a different ruin. Like, it could take us to ruins, or the weald, or the warrens. And this looks to be the warrens. Okay, that's a lot of stress incoming right there. A hell of a lot of stress, actually. My god. I wasn't expecting that. Right. This time, we're just going for the strike, really, with the dodge. Okay, we definitely need some stress relief going on here. Uh, 35, 34, 38 in most. Can we get a stun on... Not really. I mean, we, we can, but I'm not going to go for the stun. I'm just going to heal everyone up. Hope for those crits. Munch. Ow. I can't tell who's who between these two now, so I don't really know if they're in the right order. Really? The double hit on you? Wow. You just took an insane amount of damage. You need to go, dude. Right, definitely get rid of that. Like I said, you need to go. That's so much stress. Clear that stress off. Please let us have a heal. God damn, the blights and bleeds we're getting here. Crazy. Really hurting. This guy being up as well, still bleeding us. No munch! It's so strong! Holy shit! It's so strong! Okay, you're gonna heal him up. Oh, that's huge! That's huge! Thank god. Don't siphon us, thank god. Party heal again for nine on everyone. Wow. Okay, got a beast coming in. Oh my god. Such a terrible this amount of blight is absurd. I mean, we can clear it off like that. But I, I want to stress relieve with her, really. He's going to take bleed now, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, of course he is. And a ton of stress. God damn it. Yeah, you definitely need to go. Okay, you can get full healed. Right, now we need to start stress healing real bad. Expose. Nice. Okay, that completely de stealths him as well. 42. Um, party heal, because these two are a little light, but they're back up to full health pretty much now. Okay, you did get that debuff, unfortunately. Right, let's keep you get, getting your stress down. Ooh, definitely to kill the Cthulhu thing very quickly. Oh, the dodges. What is going on with the dodges today? There you go. At least we got a crit. We're getting a lot of dodges, though. Ah, look at that. Another one. I mean, you, have, you, you do have 21. Probably should have done that on that Vestal, really. But it gives us that 40. Oh, my God. Big hits coming in. Okay, um, as much as I don't want to do this, I am going to do this and remove that debuff, because that debuff is... I probably should have removed it on you, shouldn't I? You're going to hit Death's Door if you get hit, so... Probably should have removed it on you. That was a bad call, I mean. Stop dodging! Oh my god, this is infuriating. Infuriating. How do people keep dodging me? What? What the hell? That was a rather horrible heal that came in there. Okay, curing debuffs is very important right now. These two are very strong, and it's very annoying that he's got one HP left. What the hell? One HP. I have to waste an attack on you. As much as we need the stress relief, I'm going to keep doing the party heals, get everyone topped up, because this is some mad stuff going on here. I don't know how you've managed to get back up to such high, high, such high health, Piggy, but you're going down. Right, um, 
Now we can stress relieve. Vestal, you can take some. And... For full party heal again. Only two people actually need it, but... That burn breaker attack is insane. There's horror on everyone. Oh my god. I did not realize that that would be so much damage from those if I let it carry on. You're so weak, we can try and get rid of you. Right. Get rid of that. Oh, this is bad. Even with this party, this has gone so bad. Nice. Okay. The 18 crit. Why? <laughs> Just leave him alone. <laughs> he needs the healing, so we're going to have to destroy those. We can't have another one of them hit us anyway, so... What is with these insane hits? Just let us get by. Oh my god, this is bad. Party heal. Only four. Really? Only four, and of course you're stunned, so that doesn't help us at all. There's another one of these Cthulhu bastards here. I was ex Stop dodging! I was expecting a walk in the park here, and I have been sorely mistaken. This is insanely tough. Everyone's so weak. Stress is getting really high. This thing hasn't even been hit yet. Weakened prey is just horrible. Okay, this thing's actually taking some damage now. Party heal everyone. We need that nine heal, not seven. Oh my god! Please stop. Please stop. Thirty two. What the hell is this? <laughs> no, leave him alone. Sixty nine. What in the shit is going on? He's so dead. He's so dead. Oh, my God. I actually can't believe. Please say he's dead. No, he's got five HP left. Okay, he's gone. Oh, my God. That tentacle devourer is insane. Stress levels are getting way too high right now, but we, we just can't really worry about that. Healing's way more important right now. That's a good crit. That's a good crit. I can't believe he crit hit us for 69. That's insane. Do some stress relief now. Tentacle Devourer again, 17. Oh, <laughs> there's another one. What in the shit is going on? Oh my god. Okay, we're all up to full HP now. You are gone. Oh, go away, piggy. Go away, piggy. Nice, no stun, good. Gotta take care of these things. Stress relief on you, good. My god, can we stun this thing? Nowhere near. Let's try and destroy this. Oh, that didn't even kill it. That's so annoying. At least it was a heal. 27, please don't hit me, you stupid shard thing. Okay, that's not too bad. We got horror, but we can clear horror. There's another one! What? Oh, and you dodged as well. How is there another one? How is this not over yet? Go away, piggy. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Right. We need to stress relieve ourselves. Oh my god. 24, good. One more solid hit. Good. Okay. Stress is not as big of a problem anymore, please. With the tentacle devour. It's just insane. Minus 10 crit. 24, good. 
We need puncture again. We need puncture set up, but we just can't get it right now. Tentacle Devour again. What's the best this boy purple? Okay. I think it's going to explode again. Yep. Okay, I only hit two people. That's, that's okay. Thank God. That took way too long. We got 20 shards. Mildred. What does Mildred give us after the first fact? Let's check that out. Um... I'm stressed. I'm so stressed. Right, Mildred gives us any trinket or shard with subsequent encounters. Uh, that was kind of crap. <laughs> that wasn't great. Uh, right. We have... I thought we had the boss now. Maybe not. Okay. Oh, pour the ground. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Oh, really? You're not going to hit the horsey? And you stunned our Vestal. Oh, my God. Reality bend. Leave her alone. She's so stressed. And every time I use my Vestal, she gets fucking stunned. Okay, take care of you. I didn't mean to hit you. No, the, the shards are going to get us now. Fuck. When's it Vestal's turn? There you go. Oh, 28 and a blight. Okay, we could, we could take a death here. Don't do it again. Death's door, check him. Oh, God. Please say it's our turn straight away. Give us a healer turn, come on. Okay, thank God. Um, 11. Oh, he's got minus 25% healing, healing received, okay. <sighs> we need to get rid of that blight, really. I should have got rid of that blight. Leave him alone, he's so dead. He's so dead. Don't sow the seeds. Leave purple. Leave purple alone. What is wrong with you all? My God, he's dead. How? Oh my God, so annoying. They just would not leave him alone. Also Vestal, how are you still in the front? How? Get away from the front. For God's sake. It's unbelievable. They just would not leave him alone. I know you're bleeding. Shut the fuck up. We're going to just have to use this. You can't be serious with the dodges. Oh my God. This game is... A, everything about it is against me right now. Better dodge. 22 damage. You're on Death Star as well. We're not going to be able to escape this, are we? I better get my trinkets back. You cannot learn a thing. Do we lose his take then as well? We better not lose his take. I better have got my trinkets back as well. The plume and the pistol. A bidding end to my folly. And a curse upon us all. I don't even know what trinkets we just lost. I'm so upset. What trinkets did we just lose? Yep, 
Yep, we only brought back some of them. So we lost two trinkets. What the hell did we just lose? I'm so upset. We gave him the focus ring. I know that. So we've lost our focus ring, which is fantastic. It's one of the trinkets I use most out of all of them. And what else did we lose? I'm trying to think what, what, what's the other thing we have. Anyways, I'll end the episode off here. Um, I'm very upset. That was just complete bullshit. Um, <laughs> I had fun, but my god, the game hates me. Um, yeah, and uh, we'll, I'll, I'll go check what else I lost and be very upset because it'll be something great. I'm almost guaranteeing it. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.